Hello, hello, I'm Chris, and welcome back to more Satisfactory. So last time, uh, what did we do last time? I think we got our oil set up for the first time. Uh, we got plastic and rubber coming in, and this time I want to work on fuel generators. I have a plan. Uh, but first, let's uh, get some milestones done. So I got all the stuff for this, uh, aside from the plastic. Uh, and I left the rubber downstairs. Nice. So let me grab that stuff. Okay, so I have retrieved what we need. So let's uh, get in here and place everything in there. And hit our big red button. Milestone reached. Improved pipelines and pumps can now be constructed, capable of handling increased throughput of any fluid, as well as providing increased pressure handling for better vertical transport, respectively. Nice. So we got that done. And then I also grabbed the stuff for the monorail. So, as soon as that drop pod comes back, we can unlock trains. I don't think we're going to get to trains today, but um, I do want to unlock them. And maybe play around with them a little bit. I have a plan. Uh, if we take a look at the map real quick. This whole area up here is just covered in, like, oil nodes. And if possible, I'd like to run a train line uh, through there. And down to some central location where we can process all of our oil in one spot. And I just think that would help uh, with our logistics so much. It'd get us all the, all the rubber and plastic we need and plenty of fuel to turn into turbo fuel and fuel some generators. Oh, and as a side note, uh, I also did some MAM research. Uh, off the top of my head, I think we got, uh, we unlocked the iron alloy, which lets you combine copper and iron to make five ingots. Uh, I think I got the coated plates, which is iron and plastic to make plates. And the polymer resin, which is, uh, oil into... Polymer resin and heavy oil residue instead of just getting it as a byproduct of fuel. Uh, one other thing I wanted to do today uh, instead of the fabric and gas mask, because that's going to be a pain to do uh, if we don't have any resin coming in, which we will after we get the, the fuel set up, but for right now we don't have any. Um, but I wanted to. Set up a small factory to make compacted coal, because we have sulfur down there, and then we have an untapped pure coal node not too far away. So if possible, I would like to bring those together and make some compacted coal, and then we can ship that off to one of the oil refineries and make some turbo fuel, because that is our turbo fuel recipe, I think. Yeah, fuel and compacted coal makes turbo fuel. While I am sitting here just waiting for this thing, I'm going to queue up some of what we need. So we need three oil extractors. We need ten refineries. And quite a few generators. So yeah, we need a lot of supplies. And I'm going to wait until the drop pod comes back down. And after it's back down and we got the monorail researched, I will grab what I need and head down to the nearest oil patch, which I believe is um, over here somewhere. This is the one we, we tapped already, and the other ne the next closest one is over here. And then we have some over here and some over here, but I'm going to stick with these ones for now. 
Alrighty, our drop pod has arrived. So let's get ready to send this guy right back into space. So we have our monorail selected. Now we can deposit our computers, our heavy frames, our steel beams, and our pipes. And hit that big red button again. to built-in power conduction, rails-based transit ensures increased efficiency and reliability for both the transport of pioneers and cargo. Alright, so I'll be honest, I've never used trains before. I've never gotten that far. Uh, so I'm kind of kind of going to be guessing. Uh, what do we need for our Mark II pipes? Plastic. Okay. So I need some motors. We need a lot of motors. I'm going to grab some rubber and some more computers. We're going to have to make multiple trips. Because uh, this is a lot of materials to be carrying around. Uh, so I'm going to grab some more computers and heavy frames. And then I think we can make our way down there and start working on it. So if I ping for oil. Look on our map. Over here. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of nodes over there. I thought there were only three. Might have to redo my calculations a little bit. I thought there were only three nodes out here. So this one is impure. So I want an extractor on there. And I will orient these uno momento. And this one is normal. I grab that. Thank you. Should have two more somewhere. One there. One over there. Okay. And this one is... Looks like impure. Yep. And then where's this last one? Over here. Oh, these must be the... Uh, that must be the pure node. Okay. okay. I knew about these. Knew about those. Okay, so we do only have three nodes here. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to build somewhere around here, I think. Just make sure it's snapped to the grid. And then we need room for uh, 10 refineries, so that's a lot. So let's see, how big is a refinery? I always forget. Uh, okay, that's not too bad. What direction? I'm going to face these this, this way. This way. Yeah. And I'm just going to do it quick and dirty. Because I can always come back and fix it. Which I will have to at some point, so I'm not too worried about about it looking a little off. In terms of logistics, I'm pretty sure we can get away with just Mark II pipes, which we don't have any plastic for. Inventory is still really full, though. So I'm going to grab a personal storage box, stick it right here, and load it up with things that I know I'm going to use. Alrighty, back with some more stuff. So how many of these guys do we have? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's ten, right? Yeah, that's ten. Okay. Now we can line up our inputs, uh, pipe junctions. And again, this is just a very temporary setup. I'm hoping I have enough uh, plastic for all the pipelines. And then they're going to be producing just fuel. So we're going to get polymer resin as a byproduct. I want to probably sink most of that. Uh, let's see how much. 30. So we're getting 3, 300. Yeah, 300. So that's not an issue. I can just bring these guys all out. And then on these guys, we're going to do mergers. And they're going to go this way. And then over here going to do the same thing with the pipeline. Really hoping I have enough plastic to finish this. I think it's going to be cutting it close because plastic right now is our uh, big bottleneck. And I'm hoping with all this polymer resin I can use it to make some extra plastic. Okay, so our inputs and outputs are all set up and now we just need to pipe them in somewhere. The only thing about these is they need to be overclocked. That's going to be 150... This is going to be 
300, I think. Yep. And then this is going to be 150, and that should give us full saturation on this pipe. Then I want to set up the sink. Straight ahead is our storage. Uh, I'll put the storage over here. That makes more sense to me. And then over here will be our sink. So left is our polymer resin. Center is overflow. And then on the back side here, I will put some power poles. Alrighty, I will be back with more rubber and plastic. Okay, so everything here is plugged in. And we need our awesome sink. Perfect. Okay, so there is our awesome sink and our oil extractors and our refineries all set up. Now we just need the power generators. Uh, but first, I want to just run some power lines back to the base. All right, so we should be plugged in and working. We have oil. Yeah, it's going to be draining our battery, so I don't want to run this for too long. I do want to stockpile some fuel, though, and those will shut off once they're full. So I think as long as I keep an eye on the battery, we should be fine. But I think these are going to fill up the pipes before it matters. So that's full. These are all going to fill up. And then once these are full, uh, they'll shut down. So let's get started on the generators. I don't know where these are going to fit. Um, I might have to stack them. We'll see. So I'm going to start by going up. See how high up do we need to go. Is three going to be high enough? It looks like it, yeah. So let's see. How much uh, How much space does that take up? Ooh, that's a lot of space. Okay, so... And they're tall, too. Damn. <laughs> I think I'm going to expand out this way. And this is going to look kind of stupid, but that's okay. I'll fix it later. Okay, so eight should give us a good start. We're going to need a lot more of these, though. All right, they're getting fuel. All righty, so now what's our grid looking like? Now we're producing a lot more. Yeah, 3,300 capacity. Yeah, so we got 26 more of these to go. Why are you... You not having a fuel? Oh, I think I know what's wrong here. Right? Okay, problem solved. All right, so after working on this fuel generator for a bit and looking at my recording time, I don't think I'm going to get around to that, uh, the compacted coal that I wanted to. Uh, I think we're just going to finish up the generators and call it good. Uh, next time, I'm probably going to play around with trains a little bit, maybe in between episodes, kind of see uh, how expensive they are. And then maybe we'll use the blueprint machine for some rail stuff. But let me check upstairs and see if I have enough frames for this. Almost enough frames. Okay, I need some more building materials too. And I think instead of the full amount of generators, I'm going to set aside a little bit of fuel for packaging. And that way I can run a truck stop over there and maybe get some more plastic. Because I think trucks can just run through here. I don't think it's too deep for them. No, I can run in it, so it's not too deep. Okay, so we still got a little ways to go, but so far we've more than doubled our capacity. And I think that these last eight generators are going to do it. Alright, so what I'm going to do... Wow, we're not overflowing yet. We're almost overflowing. Uh, I'm going to get 20 more frames. And then package the rest of the fuel. I'm not going to make the last uh, two generators that I need after this line is finished. Uh, I'm going to package the rest of the fuel so I can put up a truck stop. And ship the uh, resin back. And once we have the resin over here... Uh, maybe right here somewhere. Or maybe over here. I don't know yet. Wherever I can find space, 
Uh, once we ship it back, though, set up some refining to turn it into plastic. So yeah, next time I think we're going to be getting into trains because at this stage in the game, it's a lot more optimal to start making uh, larger factories that only produce like one item instead of uh, how we've been doing it so far where everything is just packed into one building and kind of piped together. So I think I'm about ready to start on like a hub area where I just bring all the resources together and I can uh, ship them to different locations and stuff. All right, so with all of these working, we have total capacity of 69, nice, 100 megawatts. More than double what we had before. Uh, more than double what we need. So that should hold us off for a little while at least. Probably don't have any steel, do I? Oh, I have a little bit. Nice. So packager. We take a look at the packager. We want packaged fuel. So we can bump that down to 16 per minute. And then we just need canisters. And take a look at the refinery real quick. And if I'm making residual plastic, I need water. So what I'm going to do here, I need five refineries for plastic. Uh, I need a packager. And then how much does the recipe I want cost in terms of water? It's 100 per minute. We can do that with one extractor, I think. Yeah, we can do that with one extractor. And then we should be good to go. I just need it pays. And I do need a couple truck stations and a tractor. How's our to-do list looking? Got everything. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to have this guy drop off at the current plastic drop-off, I think. I want to see if I can place a water extractor out here somewhere. Anywhere, please. Okay, this is a little annoying. Might have to run a bit of a pipeline. What I want is refineries. I'm gonna give those some breathing room. Then I'm just gonna manifold these. And we get our pipes. And these don't need to be Mark II, they can just be Mark I. Alrighty, so we got all of our resources coming in and being turned into plastic. Now I just need to set up the the truck stop so for that i'm gonna come out a little bit give myself some room here i'm just gonna slap a merger on here and we're gonna merge in this direction and i'm gonna use a smart splitter and then we're gonna do our awesome sink over here so right is gonna be our overflow left and center are gonna be plastic so we have overflow now, so that's just going to get synced, sunked, sanked. But what I do need is an assembler. No, not an assembler, a constructor. And then he's going to make uh, empty canisters. Uh, but anyway, we need a packager. And then a transport truck station. So my plastic's coming in, and now I just need get fuel over here. And we should be good. Uh, place down our tractor, and we're just going to wait for, for it to fuel up. Now, just like before, we hit start recording, and we drive off. It helps to kind of know where you're going. These, uh, these rocks are not helping. I might have to come back and take care of some of them. But if we come over here, around the rocks, dump our stuff, and head back the way we came. There we go. Now he's off. Let's take a quick look at our power generation also. I want to see where we're at with our final, final bit. Um, it's up and down a little because I had to use... I took some fuel off for that, but once that settles down, we'll be fine. Uh, so we're at about 60, 65, 6,500. So huge improvement. We should be seeing our buddy come back any minute now. Yep, any minute. There he is. 
He's moving. There he goes. Nice. Perfect. We hitch a ride. Yeah. So that's going to do it for this episode. We got a lot done. We got our pipeline engineering, our monorail, and our fuel generators all set up. And we also got some more plastic income, so that's nice. Next time, I think we're going to be doing trains. And uh, maybe some more specialized factories. So if you like the video, hit me with that thumbs up. Questions and comments, I love reading them. Uh, I try to respond to as many as I can. And uh, if you want more Satisfactory, uh, hit that subscribe button. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So with that said, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Take care. You can do a little car, I believe in you. Oh, you got lost. No, that's the wrong way. It's right over here. No. Turn around. You're going the wrong way. Come back. Come back. Over here. There you go. <laughs> Stupid little car.